Amitabh Khan, thank you very much for joining yes. me on The Unstoppable Indians. Thanks, Marley. India is such a diverse country, such a rich country. You and I don't need to underline that fact. We know it. How do you choose on one phrase, incredible India, that captures the essence of everything that is India? Oh, well, it was uh, quite a challenging task uh, because branding is... Uh, it's, it's based on research, so we did a lot of research around it. Uh, you know, prior to uh, Incredible India, we had 18 foreign offices, and each one of them had their own brand line. Someone called it cultural, someone called it spiritual. Uh, we went into research, we decided that uh, it was time, and, and the campaign was launched at the peak of a crisis. You know, September 11, there was a war in Afghanistan, we had attack on our parliament, there was SARS, there were travel advisories. That was the time when... Uh, 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 Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore had all cut their uh, budget. And at the peak of that crisis, we launched the Incredible India campaign. And uh, it took off, uh, tourism took off in a big way, but I think as we went along, we realized uh, that it's very important to uh, work on infrastructure as well. So branding was a lot of backward-forward integration. And we're going to flesh that out in greater sure. detail, but the sure. genesis of it, that moment when, you know, you got up and said, look, we've got to work on a brand and on a campaign that reinforces one single brand. What was that moment, in a sense, if there was one? You know, it's, uh, it, it, it was uh, that particular crisis. Uh, that particular time, hotels were doing about 15 to 20 percent occupancy. Uh, most tour operators were uh, had uh, instead of doing in, inbound, were all doing outbound. Indians are traveling, had started traveling abroad. There were travel advisories. I mean, tourism was uh, was really in the docks. And at that peak of uh, the crisis, we decided that we got to launch an aggressive campaign. We did so research. So, in a sense, it was the crisis yes. that propelled action. Actually, the crisis was used as an opportunity and a huge opportunity at that. I'm trying to think uh, of how government in general, and I'm using a very broad uh, word here, but what was government response? So you had an idea. What was the first response of uh, well, it, uh, it was important to build a consensus in the office and make the tourism officers realize that they have to work as brand ambassadors. They've got to interact very closely with tour operators. They have to interact. Uh, and uh, we also decided that we are going to work, you know, normally in government you decide to work at the lowest cost. Uh, so L1 becomes your criteria. And, you know, in the world of creativity, when uh, you, you're doing a brand campaign which is going to define your destination, it's very easy to brand a single product destination like uh, Maldives or, or Mauritius, which are beach destination, or South Africa, which is a wildlife destination. It's highly complex. It's extremely complicated to brand a destination like India, which is bigger than 23 countries of Europe, plus another 20,000 kilometers. So how do you do that? And I think that was the complicated thing. So we really decided that Incredible India will be the mother brand and we'll allow states to emerge with their sub-brands as well. 